and Joy Tingo Tonkin and Jesse James Marsh. Tolkien and Benny Marnie fight, look at them just staring each other down. We, we, we know that, well I know personally, Jamie Stamp would fight, he's had more fights than hot dinners, he doesn't care who's in front of him. He's had a lot of time out of the ring, but that doesn't matter, he hits very, very hard um, and he's very unpredictable. He's going to be the first one. Couldn't be got hit hard either, that's the scary part about him. So we've got Jamie Stamp and Jay Tolkien. Contrasting styles here. Jay, Ty Stylist. Quickly for tuning into Tag Team Championship. If you haven't seen this before, guys, we're going to see it in the fighters. Tag at times, you'll hear the whistle blow, and the fighters will swap over. Very entertaining. Awesome concept. I'm a big fan of it. And Jamie Stamp. And then he's returned fight with Benny Marnie. He's solid as ever. Tell you one thing about Jay Tompkin. He feels that huge after he weighs in. Big boy for this weight. Strips down very well. He's, he's an ultimate competitor. And he gets Jesse Mars in there nice, nice and early. This will be the best thing for Jesse. Nice push kick to start off. And again. We're starting to see some tactics develop now. And the, the strong suit for the blue corner, for the blue team, um, is Benny's hands. Benny Marnie's hands are uh, very, very sharp. I, I feel he's got the best uh, hands out of both teams. 
I'd probably actually hit Benny Mahan. He's got some of the best hands in Thai boxing in Australia. Uh, personally. And then we've got, this is, this is something I've wanted to watch for a very long time. Uh, both of these boys square off. Yep. Long right hand there by Benny Mahan. Cracks away at the guard with a left hand kick. Jay, in true style that he does, walks forward and just breaks his opponents down. And Jamie Stamp trying to tag himself in, and he's done it. Well done. Yes. It's a Too eager. Okay. Both boys swapping over. It's looking like, at the moment to me, that they want Jesse to match up on Stamp. Yeah. They want Benny to match up on Jay. And that's the tactics. And look at Jesse. Jesse's just going for it. I love the uh, tenacity of this young fella. The lumberjack. Jamie, the official stamp. Wearing a couple of shots there. Always action in this tag team championships. Nice take down there by Benny Marnie, and I think you're right, Chris, which is tantalising for us. Oh, mate, tantalising, tantalising, and tantalising. Nice way back there by Benny Marnie. Eats a big leg kick. And they're big, powerful legs, Jay Tolkien's got, so they're... Body shot by Benny, looking for that right right hand. And the interesting thing about Benny Marnie is he, he fights at his walk around weight. Yeah. Which is an intelligent thing to do. If I my career again, why not be like that? And uh, the referee pulling in. He had his leg in. Got it. Okay, good pick up there, Dana. I didn't see that. And Jesse's not looking out of a character here. He's he's right in here. Yep. He's throwing anything he's got as we see. Good combination there by Benny Marnie. But Jesse just copping it. Sweet. Gets a good tag. Jesse's got nothing to lose from this too. It's everything to gain. I'd do exactly what he's doing. I'd fire down and throw down with all the boys for sure. And this is where we, you've got Benny Marnie. His hands are very, very strong, but, but Jay Tolkien, like he's fought very, very good ties over, overseas. He's no stranger to a hard fight, so if we just see the change there. And Jamie Stamp, once again, having his comeback. No doubt would have had to cut a lot of weight. He's a, he's a big weight. We see him just swinging Big over. It's being thrown. Jesse is electric and can really accelerate. And what an opening round very, for both teams. Very, very, very good to watch. Entertaining. So I was very impressed with Jesse March. So the one thing I love about tag team is you actually start to examine the electronic tactics. So what I'm seeing evolve is that Benny really wants to match up on Jay, they think that's a better matchup, and Jesse wants to match up on Jay with the stand. So yeah. that's what I'm seeing involved. No, definitely. I, I feel that um, Jesse, Jesse's a, a very, very big prospect and up-and-comer. Jamie's been out of the game for a while, so they're going to match. They're going to try and get Jesse in there to, to ruffle Jamie's feathers and try and catch him. And, and, and Jay, the, the experienced fighter, versus Benny, the experienced fighter. They're both at the top of the tree in Australian high boxing. So it's very, very good tactics, even to judge. I don't know where we go that round. Chris? Uh, I've actually, yes, I don't know either, to be honest with you, sir. As we've got Jesse and Jamie. Kicks there by Jesse. Such an exciting fight to watch Jesse. Like I know he's still up and coming, really, in the scheme of things. But well, these are those steps you need, and he's not going to look out of place. He hasn't looked out of place yet. Not for one second. No, he's he's right in the mix. Big firing up. combinations there by Benny Marnie. And keeps him out of the corner. Oh, Just beautiful right hand. Tag. Here we go. Did We're he tag? See our first bit of controversy here. Did in he tag? tag. Don't know what happens here. They got the tag. Benny. Benny got the late. The late call. He's, he's apologising, but they. Uh, Jesse will need time to recover from that. 
I would try and ice the back of Jesse's neck or something personally. Well, they can't interfere with the fighters in between, Chris. That's, but that's a good just, point, Dane. Thank you for that. That's all right, mate. They've just uh, fired up Jay Tolkien, though. Yeah. That's tag team championship yep. drama. That's exactly right, and that's why it's becoming more and more interesting. Beautiful elbow there by Jay Tolkien. Jay actually tried to cut the corner off there. Very, very well done, but Benny... Has he had time to recover? Because you know he's going to go Evander Holyfield style on that head, yep. as we're seeing. Nice little elbow again. But look at Jesse March. He's, it's almost offended him that he got hit with that yes. late shot. Great tie boxing there by Jesse. And gets the tag. Well done. Very intelligent. He's back. He's back. And that's good work from the blue corner too as Benny Marnie cocks one in Hills. So we've got the official stamp and the dingo. Well done from Jay. The old traditional double lock. Nice punch there by Jay. Cross guard there by Jay. God, that's annoying. He's got good skills in the, in the clinch, Jay Tolkien. But Jamie Stamp doing very well himself. As they get the as they get the switch, you've got to have that hand on the corner pad, Chris. Just gonna point that out myself, Dan. That's <laughs> why uh, we had a bit of confusion earlier. Oh, good spinning elbow there. Jesse cuts Jamie off from making the tag. Can he make him pay the price for it, though? Both boys get broken up. A good good amount of changing here. They're, they're keeping each other fresh. They're going in and having a burst. Yeah. As we see Jamie Stamp do the same. Do you think, Dane, if you're in there, you actually forget to tag sometimes? Because we're so used to fighting by ourselves in the ring. Well, I think some stage you'd, you'd, you'd hear the rocky music and get going, but these boys are... Uh, oh, Jay, really putting on some pressure then and then making the tag. We've got a good, got a good right hand there, but but took the tag. Now remember, all those viewing four-minute rounds, five by four-minute rounds. Benny Marnie mixing up, but it's, uh, the thing with Benny is he's, he's he's got a good chin too. He's um he's good at throwing them, but he can also take them. As we see him try to get the takedown, great defensive work there by Jesse March is just doing a great job. As you see, Benny almost push Jesse over to his corner so he can make the tag then. Jay, Jay just is frothing at the fact oh, that he can get beautiful, his beautiful combination. And that's here in round number two. Well, whew, tough one. Bit of controversy with the... Uh, with the hand on the corner pad and, and Jesse got caught late. Definitely a little bit of controversy, but I'm, I'm going to actually put that one in the red corner. I think personally that Jay and Jesse were scoring heavier and better techniques, even though Jesse got caught off that wrong call. Benny did apologise for it. Um, I just think more consistent uh, techniques are being laid down by the red corner. Yeah, the... Uh, the blue corner is very hands dominant, um, where you see Jay Tolkien mixing it up, body shot, head shot, trying to attack the leg. And Jesse March, Jesse March is just fighting out of his skin tonight. He's had a knockdown, he's had to recover. He got in really early, coming back from that, and he is the underdog here, not looking out of place at all. Round number three, Jay Tolkien, the dingo. Both boys run for tags. As the blue corner get it, there can only be one tag. Good, Jesse. Working hard to stop the tag. But sinking in some nice leg kicks for his trouble as well. He's got a very good guard, and he's trapping Benny Marnie in that corner. He's going clip the maniac with the elbows, Benny, and gets him out of there. Just not, just not quick enough. 
one tough customer. He's no, he's no stranger to a good battle. Yep. Really has no fear. Both boys lock up right in the front of our corner two position. Lane See, Mead. Jay being very smart, trying to cut Benny off to his corner there. As, yep. we, as we're seeing tag team evolve and evolve with tactics to really come into it, Dane. Yeah, he's, he's using that ring craft very well. Um, and sinking in some very, very good shots. And this is where Jay's going to, this is where Jay's, in, as we see the tag, this is why they're the champions, but I'd say that Jay in the clinch is a lot stronger than Benny Marnie. Yeah. Um, so that's where he's, he's got to be, but this young fella, Jesse Marsh, keeps finding himself in there with Benny Marnie and he's not looking out of, out of, uh, out of place. Not at all. Fantastic. Both boys trading hands. Jesse Ooh, nice going high, kick. high, almost scoring a high kick. And calling him on. Big left hook there by Jesse March. Eats a good knee, gets a good tag there. Big body shot there by Benny Marnie. Throws the elbow in. Heavy tactics starting to unwind again. Then he's just trying to, to get out of harm's way when they throw the attack and come back with his own. That's where he's very strong. Nice body shot, high low levels there. Jay cutting off the tag again. Jay's doing very good with his, with his ring smarts. Yep. Locks up Benny. High knee there from Jay. Pulling the head over with the cross face. Those boys lock up and he gets a takedown. Well done. And the tag. And Jay has Jay's a smile too because he knew exactly got, what that was. Got me. But that's not the person you want in front. Uh, low kicks there. Big powerful kicks. And see how he just gets his body position in the way of the tag. 100%. Done their research here. Got and his gets a nice tag. Fine. Thinking the whole time, even in the middle of the action. Good combination there for Jesse. Going high, then going low. And Jesse too, cutting off the ring. The young fella. They got the tag though. So they're back with Benny Marnie, Jesse March. We've seen this a lot as he just throws in a very powerful left, uh, right body kick, uh, leg kick, sorry. Gets a tag. This tag is a Sorry, he's uh, weighing is at 66.8. Just to see some of these boys actually fight heavier than that. Nice, nice knee there by Jay Tolkien, just just battering the body there. Really this, is the where very, this is where he's very strong, yeah, and you're right, Chris, racking up the points. This is a tough one. This is a real tough one to, uh, to judge. Very, very even contest. Both boys. You see Benny sitting down, getting the instructions from none other than John Wayne. Well, Anthony Vella is on the outside with Jamie Sam giving his words of wisdom. That's a great corner to have. Your team, Anthony Bella and John Wayne, two Australian legends. A lot of experience in that game for sure, mate. Heading into round number four, this is a tough one to split, Chris. I, uh, I'd i hate to be the judge. I've actually got the red one up. Just reckon the scoring tactics and doing more damage. That's, that's the champions. Benny Marnie, big powerful kick there. Benny Marnie and Jamie Stamp, the challengers. He's starting to really open up his guard now, trying to let loose and score with his hands. Nice positioning then again by the Dingo. <laughs> 
tapped him on the gloves for the low, low, but got into his corner and gets the tag. Very smart fighting here by the red corner. Jesse March, it's a high kick. And a few punches there from Benny. Looking for the elbow on the way in there was Marnie. Eats a, chop. eats a good low kick there by Jesse March and pushes him off. Oh, the 10 year sniffer from Benny Marnie. Spins onto the elbow. Crowd probably more excited about it than really any damage being done though. And the tag there. Jesse looks fine from it, not phased. High kick there by Jesse and good guard. Jamie Stamp looking for the elbow, grabbing the guard, just just wasn't quick enough. Sinking in those big knees. There's Wayne Mead, the referee, splits him. Jesse March gets the tag, and the Dingo's back in. Dingo definitely looks the fittest out of a lot of them currently. Doesn't look to be gasping for air as much. Good step through knee there. Good classy tight technique being shown. And once again, using, using the ring very, very smartly is the dingo, Jane Tolkien, and getting a tag. Well done. I think you're right, Chris. I'm, I'm starting to lean towards the red corner. Oh, big elbow there by Jesse. Come through again and again. And Benny nearly tagging himself in. Just taps him on the back. I'm here, brother. Let me in. And we've got these boys again. Jesse March, looking for his shots. And doing well to get Benny in that corner because he can, he can get away and get the tag. As Benny's just going crazy, they get the tag. Good chop down. Nice invasion work, and those hands on Benny is very, very sharp. Uses that link so well, Dave, doesn't he? Look at Jay just spreading his weight there, negating the takedown. That's all he uses at Thailand. <laughs> Watching Benny trying to almost carry Tonkin over to the tag and gets it. He gives a little cheeky laugh there. Jay appreciated it. Left body kick there by by the official stamp, Jamie. Looking for that elbow. Oh. Big, big rolling right hand there by the dingo. Locks it up. And this is where they can mix it up, Chris, in the neutral corner. Yeah, 100%. Someone will make a dash for it. Good nice hands there. Sets up the low kick. Comes through, cross guard. Tries to cross the elbow, can't land it. Back to the belly, down to the leg. Both boys training you. And just a great, great work right there by Jay just to finish off. And, and I think you're right, mate. I'm going to lean towards the red corner. What you said there, mate. That's the way I'm seeing the work rate in the grind. The red corner is higher than the blue corner. That's why I'm getting into the red corner at the moment. Yeah, I'd also, um, I'd also say that the... Uh, the mix of the mix of techniques there it's still a tight boxing fight so you know we've seen benny very very uh prominent with his hands um and jay mixing up leg kick body kick body punch body kick you know he's mixing up his levels and his techniques same with jesse so and, and using the ring really well like they're, they're the champions here so this is a tough one to score but i think you're right ak-47 i'm leaning towards the red corner. Well, we are moving into the fifth and final round. Once again, thank you for tuning in here to Eaton Hill Tag Team Championships. Brought to you by Adam King. As the Grand Prix. Bolo Fire, Morotech Engine, Additives, and the Way Whip Protein Ice Cream. I am Chris the AK47, joined by Dane Daddy Cool. Fifth and final round. Let's see it now on Wines, Dane. Interesting to see Jay just going straight for the tag. Looked like he was going to dive in with an elbow, and he dives straight over the tag.
Jamie just jumped straight back into that clinch. In across the face there by Jesse, and you see Jesse just sitting in the blue corner. Oh, oh beautiful good elbow. Crossing elbow. Delicious. Jamie Stamp, tough customer. Has not even looked like bleeding yet. Nice elbows by both boys. Benny trying to get the takedown, get those points up for his team. Nice little combo there, elbow on the end. And Jesse gets out of there with the tag. And just as I thought, Jay Tolkien locking on. Yep. Really sinking those knees in. He's very, very strong in the clinch. He's not scared of getting hit with elbows. Grinding away, racking up the points, chopping away. Oh, oh. He really got, really yeah. got caught on the way in there. Yep, sneaky little elbow there by Mr. Marnie. And then these are just racking up points, even though they don't look damaging. That's very smart fighting. Yep. The work, the rate. Go. work rate, work rate, work rate. Oh, oh. Benny! Unleashes! Nice combo there from Benny and tags him again. And that's where Jay's got to be. Yep, that's what happens when you give Benny just that little bit of space, as you said, Dane. Yep. Tough customer, Jay Tolkien, though. Oh, and then is. gets his break. And Jesse just off off balance there, nearly cops one across the shin for his troubles. And his jet and is the official stamp going absolutely ballistic. Oh. There's a few elbows. He's looking for those elbows, and so is Jesse. And Jesse's worn a couple in there. Trying to throw his own in the and tag. The tag. Bit of a swing in this round now, Dane. And who's gonna go who's gonna go crazier? This, this is where it needs to go. You need to throw no caution to the wind. Nice body kick there by Jay. Stop. And leg kick stopped. again. They're powerful kicks. Yes. Working hard in the clinch. Racking up points. Smashing away. One minute left in this championship fight. Hand combination there by Benny. Step to elbow. Oh, big right body kick there by Jay. That will take the wind out of you for sure. And the champions are doing well here. Jesse moves in for the clinch. Doesn't give Benny any space. Looks like they're going to keep him in the red corner, Dane. Great work by the boys in the red. Good job. Is that Very one minute smart. left. He gets the tag too. Stamp is screaming in the corner for a tag. And gets it. Crowd goes back crazy. And he'll just go absolutely ballistic oh, with oh, big punches by Jed Stamp. Big, big, big punches. But he's a tough customer. Jay Tolkien just needs some locks onto the grapple. They're big, big knees. Oh! oh. oh. What oh. a fight. Well, I'll tell you what. I said it last time, Dane. If you're not a fan of Tag Team Championship, you have to have watched that and be a fan of it now. It is a fantastic concept, and I love watching it. Very, very entertaining. Um, very tough one to call there. Uh, I'm going to go out on the limb here, and then I'm going to go with the champions. Well, I think the red corner, the boys from New South Wales, did do enough. Um, despite the little onslaught at the end, I think Jake Tolkien was very pivotal in his team. Did very, very, he, you know, he's been here before. He's done a very good job there. And Jesse Mark just did not look out of place. Well, Dane, I'm going to call it with you. I think the red corner's work rate was too huge as we go to centering to find out if we're right or wrong. Either way, there's definitely a rematch with this. Um, the Sydney team, without their forming member Nathan Robson, who would be on the edge of his seat watching this, no doubt, and proud of his replacement, Jesse March. He 
He's done a fantastic job. Same with Jay Tolkien. The boys from Queensland, Benny Marnie and uh, Jamie Stamp. Very, very close to call this one. Very, very close to call as we go to center ring. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queensland boys snatching victory. Very, very close fight. I think Dad, Daddy Cool. It's always a pleasure for me calling the fights. I hope you enjoyed it at home. Chris Bradford, the AK-47 is in the ring at present. He's going to interview the fighters. We've had an unreal night. It's been a really, really great fight night. Thanks to Adam King. Tag Team 